two, three, action! My name is Mesa and I'm from New Jersey. I have family back home in West Bank in Palestine. And I guess my message for the world is uh, stop the genocide in Palestine. It's happening right now. Many, many children, innocent lives are being killed. Talking about millions of people being displaced and I think that's where our focus needs to be. Stop the genocide. Guys, it's getting colder and colder. I was like freezing cold at night. But uh, anyway, I think I can still handle for sure. Well, I am uh, very happy because, you know, I uh, always meet a lot of nice people, you know. This morning, I met uh, Roger, then I met uh, two weeks ago. And uh, yes, you know, it's nice to uh, chat with people, you know, and uh, let them know what I'm doing. So this is definitely like a good point for sure. But uh, to be honest, guys, it is getting uh, colder and colder. So, well, I will stay here as long as I can. But if it is getting too cold, you know, I am going to take a move to uh, California, like I said. Yesterday night, it was freezing cold. Freezing, freezing cold, guys. I am telling you. Anyway, no shower for today. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Jorge. Um, today is Monday, October 22nd, I think. And I'm here with Anthony, um, second time I'm meeting him. Uh, it's been, to be honest, a pleasure to be able to meet him. First time I met was, I think, two weeks ago on Monday. I'm usually here on Long Beach, just um, doing my regular morning routine of running. And then when I jumped in the water, came back, saw him taking a shower there. And at first I was like, you know what? Let me not talk to him, he's taking a shower. Let me give him his personal space. But then, you know, after I don't know what it was, I'm like, let me just strike a conversation with him. And then next thing you know, we're talking. He's telling me that he's from France, actually, and that he's here on part of a documentary that he's doing of traveling, you know, different parts of the world. I think he told me 14 countries, if I'm not mistaken. A little bit more, probably. <laughs> but um, it was cool because, you know, I got his Instagram page, his YouTube page, and I just started seeing all the countries he's been to. He's been to Guatemala. That's where my um, family's from, even though, you know, I was born here and I would consider myself, you know, first an American, then Guatemalan. He's literally, when I first saw him too, he was taking a sleep outside and then, you know, um, he's pretty smart because he's saving money to be able to do other things. So, yeah, I mean, it's been a pleasure to meet you, Anthony, and I commend him for doing what he's doing and just showing people different parts of the world from a different perspective as well. Um, you know, you don't really need a lot of money to do things that you like. You, Obviously, you can see Anthony, you know, he's literally just recording on his cell phone right now, which, you know, it's all you need, a cell phone and the dedication and motivation to keep doing it. Guys, welcome to another day in New York City. Like you can see, people are having a manifestation about what is going on in uh, Gaza. People are calling it a genocide. Guys, there is a huge manifestation against what is happening in Gaza. So, well, I was basically on my way to Brooklyn when I saw that people were having a manifestation. So this is how it looked. Right now, I will be on my way to Brooklyn to wash my clothes. So. Once in a week, I have to go to Brooklyn to do some laundry. So this is where 
I am heading right now. Guys, I made it to Brooklyn. Welcome to Brooklyn! This is where I come to wash my clothes once in a week. It's open 24 7. Oui, boss! Oui, grand! Ça va, oui? All right, guys, so I will try to get some food in the meantime. So I have to wait uh, half an hour until my clothes are done. So yeah, guys, this is a part of Brooklyn because Brooklyn is very big. So this is a small part of Brooklyn. As you can see, there is a lot of influence from the Caribbean. Yeah. So I am going to get some something to eat. How much is that? 125. 125. So right now I am on my way to get some food. So this is Utica, a part of Brooklyn. When I first got here in New York, I stayed at my front place, Miles, for like a week here. So yes. Guys, this is a different vibe from Manhattan, like you can see. People are selling some stuff, some food, you know. It's like way more relaxed. All right, so like I said, I should also be aware, you know, what I'm filming because, you know, some people can be sensitive to the camera. Guys, I think I'm going to get some pizza. You don't? No way. You don't have any issues? No, she's not a victim. First off, she wasn't a good wife. She don't, she barely cooks, she doesn't clean. Hold on, so I So I got myself some food. And now I am heading back to the laundry. I feel that I am very busy doing the exhibition every day. It's a bit difficult for me sometimes to uh, take you around. But I think next week it is going to rain at least for three or four days, you know? So, yes, next week, I am going to take you around different part of New York. I am thinking of uh, downtown of Queens and maybe downtown of Brooklyn. Guys, this is what I got for four dollars, you know, so once you go outside of Manhattan, it is way more cheaper, for sure. It is almost 2 a.m. and this is how late I am coming back to my sleeping spot. So, uh, well, like I said, once in the week, I have to do my laundry. Anyway, I am feeling very, very tired. I am going to sleep right away.
guys a very good morning from my sleeping spot in you know i have to be quiet about where i stay because we never know well anyway guys it is 7 15 and i just wake up so uh, today i have to go to uh, central park a little bit early than usual My name is Mesa and I'm from New Jersey. Uh, I have family back home in West Bank in Palestine. And I guess my message for the world is uh, keep getting to know each other, understand each other's lives, cultures, history, listen to each other, and more importantly, stop the genocide in Palestine. It's happening right now and many, many children, innocent lives are being killed. We're talking about millions of people being displaced. And uh, I think that's where our focus needs to be, stop the genocide. Guys, today it is the day two. People are having manifestation about what is going on in uh, Gaza. So many people came out on the street to protest, you know. So this is what is happening right now in uh, Manhattan. <laughs> 